Eat some grass. Do a toot. Minus 40 kilocals per cycle. Only loses 200 kilocals. Wait, you what? Oh, right. When they're happy. Do a little toot. So, is he stuck? He's stuck, isn't he? He's not doing anything. Why is everything so buggy? I can't even enjoy my gassy moves. Move to there. Be happy. See? I can't have anything. I can't have anything. Look how happy he is now. Yeah, I've never... I'll be honest with you guys. I've never done a playthrough of Oni where I've had to use Alt-Q and Destroy and things like that so many times. That's that's a fair tell for me. I don't normally like using um, ha! I don't normally like using uh, debug on stream. I, I try not to use it at all normally. The only exception being destroying ruins, but I've had to use it so many times in this this playthrough. It kind of makes me a little bit sad. It makes me look like he does. Should do a little smile after he's tooted. <sighs> Why do gassy moves have a unibrow that looks like a top hat? I don't know, but I like it. I like it a lot. I just like how happy they are the rest of the time. Right. So everything else is fine. We keep getting random pop-up warnings for idle dupes and stuff, but that's down to my uh, prison dupes, I think, more than anything. Um, so let's crack on with this. Um, we can now probably do all this stuff with the priority nine just to get it done now. Um, so that needs to be done immediately. That needs to be done immediately. We'll put in the mesh tiles as well. I may have said prison dupes. What of it? There may be some prisoners. Everything's fine. Don't look at the convicts. I'm going to rip out this pipe. I don't want it here. I'm going to rip out this pipe and move it around here a little bit. What if I made this out of Ignis is fine. And we'll just do a bit of this. A little detour. Construct buildings nine. Go. Go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Should we put a proper wobbly boy in here? Should we do that? Yeah, let's put a proper proper. Let's put a proper wobbly goth boy in here. Because I know how much you like a juicy goth builder. We can do that. I'm not opposed to that at all. We can do that right away. Because we're going to have non-exosuit dupes running through here. I don't want them to like displace it or derp it up somehow. Um, so that's fine. Bang you there. Bang you there. Might have a few ladders to do some of this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm -mm 
Mm. <laughs> nice knowledge. <laughs> you show the prison. Missed the end of yesterday. Uh, it's it's up here. Here's the little prison area. I think we've got one dupe that can come and go at the minute because I kept having a troll moment with this thing. Or well, maybe he can't come and go. I thought I'd let one dupe out. Did I not? Inmate one. Hmm. So yeah, basically they've all got a little cot. They've all got a bit of a, a decor, bit of decor in here. Um, we've got a little dancing room to keep them fit, and then we've got their full-time job, which is also keeping them fit and strong. And then we've got a couple of cooking stations, some bristle blossoms, and some pinch pepper nuts that we can't quite get hot enough at the minute, which is not ideal. Um, so yeah, that's the prison, and they're making me lots of food, which probably needs to be pumped out of the base a little bit. So yeah, that is the prison. It generates loads of power. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> Damn it, nurse. <laughs> Damn it. How dare you? How dare you quote me word for word in an inappropriate way without any context? You son of a bitch. Yeah, so super coolant, go. I wonder if we've got some super coolant kicking around as well uh, without having to... Yeah, so I've still got some bottles kicking around the base from when I did all these locks, so they'll probably come and sweep them up rather than us bottling some more. So I won't have a uh, enable auto bottle on these. Alright, let's get this uh, wire put in here. Yeah, I might need to get rid of some of this stuff. I probably want a little bit more space underneath here, but we'll get all this up and running. We should be pumping lots of uh, petrol uh, crude oil now, all being well. So, first pump is going to take priority. Get rid of all this crap. I might dig out a few. Uh, I might dig out a couple of tiles here. Get this little bit of fossil. I will continue digging all this out at some point, but for now, this is fine. I'm sort of removing their access a little bit here, but that's okay. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, sh shit wankers. I wasn't paying attention, I pumped too much liquid. God damn it. I need to just nip this out a second. I don't want that much super cool now. It's a big waste. Uh, so let's just build these out of the bigness. Too much super cool. I don't want that. Right, you've been built. I think I have what wire. Yep. Son of a bitch. Too much. I only need like maybe 30, 40 kilos here maximum.
sour gas all over the place yep um, in fairness a lot of that was for science we um the question was asked a few times about how do you make sour gas what is it so i would i would <laughs> visually make a demonstration and yeah it might have bit me in the ass a little bit yeah we might have gassed the last slicksters a little bit but i'd do it again I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one for him to do, I think, but hopefully they'll do this first. Right, that is plenty of naphtha. That should give us about 30 kilos, which is lovely. And then the last thing we want is our Visco gel. If you put too much naphtha in, by the way, it likes to splurge over to the side. So I normally don't go above 30 kilos of naphtha with this. Else you get a little bit of a, a sideways splurge with your wobbly goth dildo, which honestly can be fatal. You really want to avoid that at all costs. I once knew a guy lost an eye to a sideways string wobbly goth dildo. So, it's a real fear that you need to be aware of. You always need to watch your back when dealing with um, wobbly, wobbly goth dildos. <clears throat> Anywho, all right, there's my visco gel. That's plenty. Mm -mm, boop. And I'll put the rest over here. Oh. The problem was I added context that made it worse. <laughs> Some of you sandbox or debug, could they actually melt a dupe into genetic ooze? I don't think so, Happy. I don't think so. They just... Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think it'd probably just black hole your game. I don't know if genetic ooze is meant to be a building material. Do you know what I mean? Uh, by finale, do you mean the end of the game or the end of getting petroleum power? I think it'd be the end of the uh, playthrough. We'll see. We'll see how far we get tonight, hey? Um, obviously, we've done a few... We've done a lot of rocket launches now, in fairness. Um... And yeah, there are resources we can get from space, but we don't need them. Um, we've got the power and infrastructure now to go wherever we want, if we want to. Um, it's just there's not really much there for us to get that we don't already have a plentiful supply of. Uh, it might be nice to get some like gas, gas containers and stuff and start getting some gas from other places. Or, you know, if we had some liquid tanks, we could get some magma, but we don't, we don't have that opportunity because we don't have any fucking magma. 20 kilos? Yeah, that'll be fine. So, we'll see. We'll see at the end of the uh, the end of the stream how I'm feeling. It's normally how it goes, guys. If I feel like there's not much left for us to do, or doing any more would just be pointless trying to find something to do, that's generally the end of the playthrough for me. Why are you using super coolant at all for the water lock instead of just petroleum and oil? I like how it looks, Delmain. I like how it looks, and we've got loads of super coolant. I can make more of it, so... I like it. I'm using a tiny amount. It's like fucking 30 kilos and 20 kilos. 60 kilos. It's nothing. Ah, uh, shit. I need another ladder there now. Alright. So there's our first wobbly dildo. And we'll get another one put in here. Again, for those of you that might not have remembered, the benefit of doing it like this is your dupes will hop straight through so they don't get soggy feet. They don't get the wet debuff. Which is what I'm all about. Right, let's get this stuff going with a nine as well. Uh, I should have done this outer wall first. I kind of derped up there a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, 
Lovely. Blink. Oh, excuse me one second, guys. I'm just going to mute my mic. Okay, so about that, guys. Ah. So. This has all been diverted. I need to connect this pipe back up, so I need a couple of bits of ladder here, probably. They might try and do it from here, but it'll... You know, I'll just put a few bits of ladder in, it's easier. Um, bang, bang, bang. Shh, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> oh, that'll be okay. Um, GG, how are you, buddy? Uh, we're just doing a petroleum build... Uh, we're getting some petroleum gens and a petroleum boiler in place. It's going to be a little babby one, but I think it should be enough for what we need. Um, so that's what we're just doing at the minute. Lots of priority nine stuff for, for the moment. I'm trying to get my igneous from down here. I should have uh, put a compactor in for igneous rock. Got all the igneous swept first. Well, they're picking up like a ton and a half, nearly two tons a time, so... Not too many trips for them. Always use adequate iron air protection when using wobbly goth dildos, exactly. I'm back, what I don't get about your petroleum cooker is the would it not be better for the temp sense liquid to be at the bottom? Better heat transport. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, be at the bottom. It doesn't really matter, it just needs to be in contact with the aqua tuner and ideally some petroleum. It's it's such a small amount of um of fullerene that we uh, super coolant that we're gonna put in here, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's as close as damn it. And I've I've run my other build in my in my offline game for quite a while now and it seems to be fine, so seems to be okay. So I'm gonna want a liquid pipe coming out of here. Um I really should have moved this pipe more out of the way. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Um mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't decide I want to do this for the best. Right, let me get a few bits put in up here. So I'm going to have petroleum gens here. I'm going to want to run some radiant piping through this room. Um. The only problem is if I make the room too fecking cold. I'm not going to be able to have this aqua tuner running full whack, I don't think. If I make this room too cold, my, my airlock breaks. I'm going to put it into this loop as well. Wanting to get all this done before I um, before I change my mind. Fuck! <laughs> I have to build this diagonally. It's fine. Um, how do I want to do this? Cool some magma. What do you mean, cool some magma? Cool some magma. Liquid hot magma.
Needs a pipe sensor. Oh shit, no pipe sensor would be there. Not there. And my oil feed pipe is going to be here. I'm doing a little think, alright guys? I'm just doing a little think. It's just a small one. Is round. I can still use this pipe and then you see. Yeah, nothing hard work. Um, so I need to have a pipe sensor here. Good pipe thermo sensor. Make that a tungsten. My automation from here as well, I need to get done now before they fully seal all this stuff up. Uh, so that's just going to be an hydro sensor. And then we'll need some stuff slapped in here. Might as well use a bit of diamond moss, we're so close to the oil biome. Um, and we will do a little bit of that and that. That should allow the temperature to transfer very quickly. Very quickly. And we'll also do one of them there. That should be good. And then in terms of our oil feed coming in, we're probably going to have a liquid shut off somewhere outside here. Uh, oil feed will come in from the side. I've not decided where yet. So yeah, many, many stuff must be done. Let's get all this built. And let's get all of you built as well. Many stuffs. That can be done now. And then these need to be done. I can make this speed three now because I'm only looking at this. So we can hopefully crack on with that. We're doing a little bit of a plan. That was all. What you plan on cooling? Um, I'm planning on cooling my petroleum gens and my natural gas gens. Um, and I'll, de I'll, I'll divert the AETN cooling for something else. Might use the ATN cooling to finally cool the base a little bit, I don't know. Ghost Crab, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thank you for the follow. How's it going? Uh, mm -mm -mm. What is the Petro Aquatuna coolant going to cool? Petro Aquatuna. Um, all this stuff. Um, and I don't know what else yet. Maybe a little pool of... Uh, something up here. I'm sort of, I'm debating how I want to do this as I'm doing it, which is why I'm so hesitant. I think it will all be fine. Um, good, so you must guess what I'm eating. It's brown, comes in an orange wrapper, and one must never tap it. A chocolate orange! A chocolate orange. Uh, is the thermal sensor right next to the aqua tuna. How will it ever heat up to reactivate? How will, if the ther is the th if the thermal sensor is right next to the aqua tuna, how will it ever heat up to reactivate? How will it ever condense the liquid? You mean? Well, I'm going to be pumping in oil. It's the oil feed in that cools the room off again that allows this to condense. So realistically, I just want all of this room to be hot as balls. The the margin for um, Cooling this build back down. Pipe sensor. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit confused. So I've not done. I've not put my little detour pipe on here. That is something I was about to forget. I was about to forget that one. Granite? No, I won't do it with granite. Yeah, 
Yeah, we won't do that just in case something derpy happens. Um, Peach, kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to make sense of what you've what you've asked. Um, if the pipe, if the thermal sensor, this pipe thermal sensor. If the thermal sensor is right next to the aqua tuner, how will it ever heat up to reactivate the pipe sensor here? They're fixing it now with the bypass you're making. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always put a bypass on aqua tuner peach, otherwise they break. Uh, the only thing is this is in a derpy place, so I want to move it. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. I fix. I fix. I clean. It's okay. It's okay. Have no fear. I'm doing it. I just keep building a few bits and then looking at it and deciding if I want to change anything. That's what's basically happening at the minute. Because I'm not just doing the exact same build of what I built on um, on the YouTube video. This one's got a little bit more to it. So this aqua tuner is probably going to run hotter, for example, because there's only one aqua tuner in here, like one aqua tuner running at full pelt, rather. If you know what I mean. Greedlewasher, how's it going, bud? Finale? Possibly, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Okay. Oh, and the thermal plates also help me regards to my previous question about the cooker. Sorry, I sorry, what were you saying, Shidley? I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing at the moment. So, um, in some roundabout way, or why are you piping up there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to change the way these pipes are cooled. I'm going to change the way these are cooled. Instead of using polluted water that we're doing at the minute, we've got like a couple of kilos of polluted water going through here, and it's honestly working fine. You know, I'm, I'm not using that much natural gas at the minute. Uh, but I want I want to make sure they're super cooled. <coughs> We've still got quite a bit of natural gas in here, but it does fluctuate a little bit. And we are probably using more coal and hydrogen at the moment. Um, so if we go to consumable ore, we're down to 565 tons of coal. So it's still plenty, but I'd rather be using something else that we've got massive amounts of at the minute. Which is going to be this stuff. Lovely. Uh, Godly Giraffe, what a name. Welcome, buddy. And thank you for the follow. <clears throat> By the way, I love your streams. Keep it up. Thank you, Greedle. Thank you, bud. Very kind. Uh, do you regulate flow on all liquid cooling to 10? Uh, regulate flow or not? Do you mean as in packet size silent? It depends what I'm doing, mate. Like this, this um, for my natural gas gens. I actually had a problem where my um, I was ending up with a backlog of water, so I decided to throttle it a little bit, um, which basically gave me more time for my water to have somewhere to dump to. So I've lowered my packet size on this to like two kilos because um, I, I was basically cooling it too fast and ended up with a backlog of um, cooled water. So, and it's enough for the room. Two kilos is ample for this. It keeps the natural gas gens nice and cold, which means we're getting nice and cold polluted water as well. Not that it matters at the minute, because we're putting it straight through a fucking sieve and putting it back to 40 degrees. So, but yeah, in theory, I um, I don't need to cool this room any lower than 40 degrees. But, meh, I did it anyway. I debate whether I want to route some of this down here as well. So it's going to be a liquid pump down here. 
But I think just cooling the gens will be fine. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll get our automation wire in as well before I forget. Ooh, laggy boy. Have we dropped any frames or anything? Are we still okay on the old stream? Set, guys. Just checking something. And Matej Makula, how's it going, bud? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You catch me in a beard scratchy moment doing and build. Oh, balls, I've messed this up again. We're doing a, a build two at a time. How's it going? Okay, so my automation for this, in terms of my feed-in and stuff, and this sensor, um, and I've changed how I did this before, and I kind of like the automation that I did earlier. So my hydro sensor goes to an AND gate. So only if my hydro sensor and this pipe sensor is on, does this get a signal. I think I'm going to do that again. I preferred that. So we'll just change this a little bit. I don't know where my AND sensor is going to go. I might put him here. My AND gate rather, not AND sensor. So we'll bang this in. And we'll make this with tungsten as well. I don't know why, just in case. And it's only cheap, so I don't really mind. How would you describe Oni to a complete stranger to the game? Uh, that's backwards. I would describe it as... A colony management game based around cuteness over function. Yeah. I describe it as an adorable game. An adorable game with a lot of potential. Um, and other than that, that's about as far as it would go. <clears throat> That's probably too negative, let's be honest. No, it's a great game. It's a great game. You'll get many hours of fun in, in this game. Um, as long as you play short, short playthroughs and can be very patient and tolerant of a few niggling things, you'll have a lovely time. That's probably the fairest way of describing it. It's a great game. I've put a lot of hours into this game, so come on. I can't exactly turn around and shit on it all the time. It's a great game. It's just got a few annoying things that I wish for the love of God they'd fix. <laughs> and then I'd be a happy boy all the time. Why are you backing up? Where's this wetter going? We have many wetters. Oh, it's because the other guys is that I've got two guys running at the same time. They're both erupted at the same same time, so that's fine. Right, a few more bits to do in here. Um, I'm still debating how I want to do my piping in this room, which is why I've not fully fully closed it up yet. Where my liquid feed's gonna come from and whether I'm gonna whether I'm gonna mess about with the oil temperature or not. Because I'm gonna need a vent. I think I was gonna put the vent here, wasn't I? So there will be <clears throat> excuse me. There will be an vent up here. Uh, yes, Labada, that's exactly what I mean. Over a thousand cycles do short playthroughs. Zoo hybrid. The, the, to be honest, this is the longest playthrough we've done in a long time. And it was mostly because I wanted to have a play about with um, 
rockets. But it's the longest playthrough I've done in a very long time. Uh, in a very long while. I think gold will be fine for this stuff. I don't think it's ever going to get too toasty that it melts.